Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures of Well I'm Me and today we are going to be continuing our game a day discussion a uh, little I guess vlog thing about a different game every day um, I am trying to bulk record these uh, at the start over a couple of weeks before I release them so there's probably a little bit of discrepancy between the time that you see this between the discussion of things going on for example in the first episode I did talk about uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot coming out on that day and as of this moment it's been out for over a week of the time of recording by the time you see this is probably another like two weeks before that even gets around to that or a month who knows so um, even though I am recording this for an everyday thing I'm kind of doing a couple of games each day until I uh, have enough there so you get one every day because I want to be able to record it um, without uh, missing a day for, I guess, 365 days, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, today's game is Greedfall. Um, now I picked this up on the PlayStation 4. Um, I've been looking at it for a little bit, I heard some good things about it, and um, I wanted to explore it a little bit more. I liked the look of the game. Um, very, there's no instruction thing, there. very, uh, I guess, colonial uh, kind of uh, appeal to it, um, and I really liked the look of that in terms of mixing that with, I guess, uh, like an RPG, like fantasy RPG, action RPG type of thing. Um, it looked a little bit kind of like Dark Soulsy in terms of combat. I wanted something with a little bit more of a medieval type look to it, and this was that game, so, uh, when I was playing it, it was interesting because there was all these, like, dark beasts that you had to fight um, and that was really cool in terms of it's not exactly what I expected I mean on the back of the box on the back of the case it does have pictures of monsters and all that which I, I you know I thought you know that's cool there are monsters on it um, nothing on the front kind of says that because it's kind of like there's this mountain or volcano in the background and some dude there but on the back you get to see there's like a a lesson type thing, um, and a few other things, which is cool. So, I wasn't expecting that at the time, but it was just one of those things that, as I kept playing, I was intrigued by it. And it took me a little bit to get into it, but then I really loved it. And then I kept playing and playing and playing, and playing and playing, and it just dragged on. I think... It was a really good game with some flaws, in terms of like, general combat and things like that. But it just got to a point where I didn't care for the story anymore and I wanted to finish the game. So, I think the game definitely needed to be shorter and unfortunately that did kind of impact my overall view of the game by the time that it uh, came towards the end. Um, I think if you do like uh, action or RPG type games, uh, it, it does have some interest, interesting points there. Uh, as you go into combat, you've got some allies that you pick up along the way, and they've got different abilities. Some of them can use magic, some of them use melee, some of them just attackers, some of them support. So you've got all that along with the character that you design and create along the way and specialize in the fields that you kind of choose to be in. Um, I picked just an absolute brute for my character. It was two-handed claymore type swords that would just smash the opponent and I invested all my points into that and kind of neglected being stealthy or neglected magic and ranged and things like that um, so that's how I played it but there's so many other ways to play it I think that's kind of where the interesting part about the game comes into it there are multiple ways that you can create your character and move through the game and you can actually have multiple endings based on that because you get different uh, allies that can join you along the way um, with different backgrounds for factions and then you get those factions to kind of follow you because you're like a political leader um, in this new world. Uh, so, look, it, it was enjoyable. I did enjoy it and I, I, I loved the story as it started and I loved that ability that you had to kind of gain influence between these different nations and bring them together at the end to try and, you know, unify against one bad force, I guess. But I was unsuccessful in doing that. I couldn't get 
everyone to follow me, I couldn't get everyone to join, so um, there's that as well. You know, if you don't get everyone to join, then you don't get everyone to join and you're kind of stuck with it, so um, I ended up getting to this point where all I pretty much did was uh, start trying to infiltrate areas and then killing everyone in the area because I wasn't doing the correct stealth transition thing. Uh, so I kind of ruined that myself, if that makes sense. I could have played this game so much better, and I just didn't. Um, but overall, like, it, it was an enjoyable game. Um, I would recommend it to people that like a bit of a challenge and like that kind of RPG or action combat uh, situation. Very similar to Dark Souls uh, in that combat aspect, uh, where you've got heavy weapons that are slow, quick weapons that are fast, um, and it can be quite challenging. Uh, but to someone that just wants a more easy, fun experience uh, that's a little bit easier to play through, probably don't get this game. And if you don't like long storied games, don't get this game either because you'll get very bored very quickly. It just drags on. But, you know, that's grateful. And uh, if you're interested in it, pick it up, I guess. <laughs> that's all I can really say. If you like those like more action RPG type things, then it's definitely an option, but keep in mind that the story and the game can just drag on. Um, if you're not prepared for that, then maybe stick, stay away from this one. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, it really does help me out. Um, and yeah, got more games coming up to talk about. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.